Hello everybody, and today, South Hand of Pirates Curse, Part 9. So, uh, last time we took care of the rest of Mudbog Island and also um, completed a side quest to receive a sword for a cosplayer in uh, the palace. So, we still have a couple mysteries left to unravel. We don't know where Bolo is, he's like the little dude friend of Shantae that's good, or was kind of a messenger, I guess. Um, for the, our uncle. Um, I don't know, he hasn't gotten a lot of screen time, I really don't know a lot about him. Um, but we still don't know where he is. The Ammo Baron has taken over Scuttletown and uh, mechanized it, basically. Um, fully outfitted it with armor plates and all that, but he's still missing a few parts, so we don't know what his schemes are, but I think there's a side quest maybe with him. And of course we unlocked Frostbite Island last time. So, yeah, I don't really have any ideas about where to pursue um, the other two quests that I've mentioned, but we can at least explore Frostbite Island. So we're going to go here, see how far we can get. Uh, let me set something up real quick. Forgot to set my timer up. This is it. Let me uh, set this up real quick. Let's go ahead. Try to keep my videos around 40 minutes. Let me know in the comments if y'all like this length. I feel like we get just a, the right amount of content in. Like we, you know, we usually complete like when you wrap the two halves together, like a, a dungeon basically per video. Like uh, either the overworld and the beginning of the dungeon or the or the rest of the dungeon that we left from a previous video. Feels like good progress. But if y'all like shorter videos or longer ones, let me know in the comments. Let me get my stopwatch going. Oh, watch. I literally just Google stop, stopwatch and start it. Alright, so I'm a little bit behind, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Add that to time. Alright, this is it. Frostbite Island. End of the line. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. I'll take the burning sand and lava any day over this. <laughs> well, she's rather skimply dressed. We'll find the fifth and final den of evil here. If we can destroy the source of his power one last time, the Pirate Master will be finished. I'm ready. Let's go. And she has to be cold. <laughs> Look at her. Look where we are. Jeez, man. Can we climb up here? Yeah, we can climb. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so these sloops are one ways. Okay, right, good. Those didn't take very many hits. If they did, I would have been in trouble. And everything's been doing a lot more damage to me as of late, so that would not have been good. Wonder if I can. All right, idea. Let's see. No, I was gonna try to build up dash and like run into the wall, see if there are secrets. Holy crap! That did six damage. Wow, those are bad news bears. Anyway, jeez. This might be honestly safer to take out with a gun. Zone them from afar. Jeez, man. At least they only take two hits. Jeez, man. Six damage? Oh, hey, it's Ammo Baron. Ammo Baron? What's he doing way out here? Guess I'll just listen in. Blah, blah. Won't tolerate any more of your delays. Calm yourself, Baron. The weapon will be ready to fire, I promise you. But you can't rush art. Art? We're talking about a device that... Called Blammo! Turns villages into scrap heaps. Black heaps. You worry too much. The weapon will function. I designed it myself. The palace will fall, and when it does, you will have complete control over all of Sequin Land. Sequin Land? Sequin Land? Ha! I won't stop there. The entire world will be my garage. <laughs> Garage? You know, it's usually like Oyster, Palace, Dominion. Uh, it, it, it says Garage. Why not? Look, load, shoot the core. Whoosh wall. Yes, yes. Why don't you return to that Scuttle Town where it's nice and cozy? I'll have the device sent to you the moment it's ready. You're stalling again, Techno Baron. Oh, so there's just a bunch of Barons. Hmm. You know, I knew about Squid Baron and Ammo Baron, but I I wonder how many barons there are. 
Relax, my assistant has everything under control. <laughs> Module better come out, come soon. Oh yeah, he mentioned that. He needed that for like his aiming purposes. Anyway, you there, peasant. Oops. Run ahead and check on my assistant. He was taking him so long with that targeting module. Rough him up if he has to. He's in my new floating factory, Propeller Town. He's just trusting us. That We just spied on this conversation and he's just trusting us to do his bidding. <laughs> Maybe he knows who we are and this is a trap. Possibility. Whoa, okay. Can I shoot Doggo? Oh, they, wow. Dang, now I really want to go back and buy that damage upgrade. They take 8 damage. That would, If I got one more damage upgrade, that would turn a, this 2 shot into a 1 shot. Whoa. Oh well, we got faster whipping. I think that's more important anyway. Uh... Ooh, jeez. I was trying to like bounce on him, but that just did not work. Uh, lots of enemies. Yeah, okay, we can get over the top. Hmm, that looks like progress. Let me check down here and make sure there's nothing else. It's not appear to be anything else. I don't know how much these damage these things do. I don't know how much of a threat they are. Okay, nothing good. Gotta, gotta check every wall now, now that I have the ability to, like, you know, hit them. Mm, anything up here? No. Okay, propeller town? No. They took eight. Four, six, eight. Ten. Oh, I don't feel as bad now. <laughs> I don't feel as bad now. I just couldn't count before. It's not worth upgrading, like, ten damage. Uh, although I would appreciate that, but that would take a lot of gems. Whoa. That did not register as a slope to me. Zoning. My specialty. Alright. Uh. Ooh, jeez. Uh, hopefully there's like... Uh, if we're careful, we're fine. But we can't have, like, surprise bats coming down like that. Okay, so we definitely could have been taken out there. Yeah. Someone said he wants to race. Seems pretty good, though. Oh, yes, a save. Thank you. Yes. Alright. Propeller time? Not quite. Okay, I have a question now. Can we run up slopes? Let me get over here and get a full running start. Ooh, we can. Interesting. Okay, we gotta keep that in mind. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, we will go back and explore that eventually. But that was pretty cool. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to go back just to keep that. Awesome run attack. Dang, dude. He destroyed that screen. Whoa. Although, the village could have been down low. I could have flown it over entirely. Oh, he did say it was an aerial village, so... Or it was called Propeller Village, which makes me think it's in the air. I'm gonna watch out for spikes. Huh? The Ascent begins. This, this, has, this reminds me, okay. Nothing at all like Final Fantasy, but this reminds me of when we're like climbing back into Midgard from like the slums. <laughs> I, I definitely get those vibes. I haven't played the remake. I've only played um the uh, original. Played on Switch uh, last year. Kind of why I secondary club. Okay, so we made it up here. Uh, there, I'm gonna check the map. Oh. Well, I guess we changed areas. Okay.
Huh. Well. Interesting. I'll go that way. I'll go that way now. That looks like progress over here. Okay, those can't hurt us. I got really scared when I saw gears flying out because it's like, you know, this, those usually hurt us. I was like, hmm. That would be kind of bad news if that happened. Okay, we can't go left. Oh, interesting. Whoa, we just went down. Okay. Whoa. Ah! Tomfoolery. What was that? It's kind of like... This reminds me of, like, certain uh, Hollow Knight set. Ooh. No! Crap, I fell for it again, I fell for it again. This reminds me of, um, some Hollow Knight sections, um, in, like, the White Palace, with, like, the way they treat the death mechanics. When you die, you just go back to the beginning. And you die if you hit, like, anything. Okay, we want to stay high. Do I just have terrible short-term memory, or... I think that might have been the second one. Okay. The first one, dodge it normally. Second one, go high. Yeah, okay. Alright, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. Whew, okay. I thought that one was gonna juke us. I thought that one was gonna juke us. Alright, we got the others first try. That was tricky. Real tricky. Me. Are we just back at the beginning? No, not quite. Okay. So, let me check the map. I don't think we can go up at all. So, I think we're safe to go left here. They take a ton of hits, but they're really slow, so... I don't know if they have projectiles, though. They kind of seem like they would. They kind of have, like, side cannons. Okay. We got, ooh, an updraft. Like updrafts. Whee! Oh, Jesus. No. Uh, okay, arrow says go left, but I like to explore. We're going up. Whee! Alright, cool. Okay, we can't break those. They are also ice blocks or something. Look how parts just like to fly off. No reason for us to go close. Oh, wow, those... Okay. Uh... <laughs> this is a kissy robot again. Alright, um, let's see. Let's use a potion. Fair enough. Okay, if we're slow, we can hit them, so it's not bad. Whoa, is there nothing over here? Ooh, yes there is, yes there is. Alright. We're flying away to victory! Whee! Nice. Yeah, look at that fast weapon. Woo! Yeah. I wonder if this was supposed to be a shortcut in progress that actually was to the left. Because it kind of feels like that. I mean, it's not a big deal to go back, but... Wow. And we have... Okay, we know that there is an... Hmm. So that last screen we were on would allow us to go... Down or up. Hmm, okay. We might need to go back. Crap. That was bad. Bad timing. Alright, uh... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Oh boy. Oh, okay. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Fortunately, her, again, her horizontal mobility is so high compared to other platformers, that's not even funny. Okay, yeah, we definitely have to go back, because, um, we have, yeah, we, we have missed stuff. How did I take the intended path? Like, I was trying to pick the most obscure path possible, and somehow that just in, in, ended up being the way forward. 
I'm gonna keep exploring a little while longer, but if I run into another save, I'm definitely turning back. Of course, we might also get turned back by the fact that, um... We need a piece of equipment. Like here, for example. Yeah, we can't get up there. We can go down. Can't go up. Okay, let's see what's over here. Nothing? Okay. Alright, so we're back... where? Oh, it's... hey, Bolo. You're working for the Techno Baron? Sure, why not? I've got glasses. He said I look super smart, so he made me his assistant. Someone finally appreciates me. I'm, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Yeah, well, we're a thousand feet in the air. Look, I don't want to mess up on my first day. I'm, I just put the final touches on this doohickey. It's supposed to go to Emma Baron back in Scuttletown. Techno Baron says it's super important. What's it do? I don't know. So what? You're my friend. You've always, ha always have been. I can count on you, right? Uh, here, take it. You got the targeting module. Well, we could and probably should dispose of this. However, that would be letting down our friend. He's finally found his place in the world. Got some Metal Man vibes. Wow. Cool, okay. Good thing we're invincible. <laughs> uh... I think... Looks like we could go up there, but... Oh, we can fall down. Okay, I'm gonna make a loop. Well, I thought I was. Whee! Okay, I think... Th yeah, we end up back here. Okay, cool. We can also go down from here, but... I'm gonna make a quick loop real quick. Because I saw another screen that we might be able to potentially investigate. Oosh. Okay. So, whoa, okay. Spikes. <laughs> spikes are big, dangerous spikes. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Alright. I like this scenery. I like how it kind of turns to night. I do ascend. Okay. Oh. Okay, see, what I was thinking, see where we currently are? I was thinking we could go down a screen, because the top of that blue tile directly below us doesn't have a white top on it, which indicates that there's another screen there. But this is all death, so that does not appear to be the case. Um, we can't go up. Okay, so we have a few areas we need to explore. We need to go... We can't go down. I, I think I want to go... I think it's quicker to... I want to investigate that area on the left for sure, because there was a white arrow by it, and like, it has to be important, right? That works. Uh, now, technically, we could fall down here. Actually, that why... Eh, let's go down. It'd be more of a pain to travel. Oh. <laughs> well, now we know. Okay, so... Alright, I'm gonna take a another fall here. Because I think I know where that goes, and I think it's quicker to go this way, because we just kind of glide across this way. Fly away to victory! Hopefully we can do this in reverse? Oh! Is that, that might be one way. Okay, so we do have to fall down. Which isn't bad. It's just gonna mean we have to travel a little bit further than I was originally thinking. Not bad, though. Okay, yeah, so now we're gonna make our way back to the left. Because I skipped right. Oh, we have to do this again? Jeez. So if I remember stuff. Okay, first one, normal. Second one, high. Yeah, okay. I don't remember the rest of these. I was just lucky I got them on instinct the first time. Okay, good, good, good. We got it, we got it. This is a cool area. There's a lot of exploring I need to do. Because I definitely miss serious.
platforming's really tight, too. Cool. Alright, uh, let's see. So we need to go left another screen. Okay. Because there should be a, another arrow. Or that, or that white arrow we saw should be somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Okay. Oh, it's just a, it's just a save. Okay. Dang it. Is that what those always mean? Because I feel like I've missed those in the past just because I don't want to go off the beaten path or or I want to go off the beaten path and that's why I don't follow the arrows. <laughs> um okay, I think our quickest way wait, this might be wonder Ooh. Okay, I think we actually have to go up and all the way over because I think I bet those chains won't go back. Or we can't reach the chains to go to traverse that section backwards. So yeah. Kinda of making loops on myself, but that's okay. It's a good game. I like how everything oh I feel like I like everything flies out of them. Alright. Yeah, this section could should go pretty quick because we we just kinda of fly over. Oh. Trying to be quick and jump over them, but that's not necessary. We're going back to Scuttle anyway, so oh, that was that was really dumb. I didn't think I could make that. So, um, robots. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So now I think we just make our way back to Scuttle Town. We'll backtrack through the areas that I kind of skipped over. Um. In that frostbite area, because we used the dash to get through one of those sections, and that definitely affected our progress or affected our exploration. Yikes! Oh wait, there's chains. Right, I'm gonna check down here for anything. The specials. Ooh, wait. Did I not check? Oh, I didn't check down here. Nice. Okay, more exploration. Let me check down here. What's this? Oh. Wait. Yeah. If only th those could spit you diagonally. It's like a maze. Kind of cool. Oh, man. I think I got it wrong. Rip. Okay. Alright, well, not sure what the solution for this puzzle is. We might come back. Might come back and try that. But it's just a heart squid. It's a fun little mini game, but I don't want to waste everyone's time with um trying to figure that one out. <laughs> yep, kept going in circles. I don't feel that bad about our health anyway, so. Oh wait, I don't need to go up here, I need to go back. Down. Okay. So, we're back here now, and we can leave this area by going over to the left. Okay, so now we just backtrack through Frostbite, and we leave the island to go give Nama Baron his targeting module. Now we can just glide down. Easy. Alright, so yeah, we definitely missed some areas. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, can we not... Interesting. Okay, so I think we have to build up a dash, because we can dash up slopes. Crap. Okay, so we're going to have to build it from the other screen as well. Okay, so starting from here... Okay. So now we can dash up that slope. We we've explored most of this area. Yeah, we've explored all this, so. Yo, it's crazy those wolves do six damage. Like they're really weak, so I guess it makes sense that if you ignore an enemy like that, you should take a lot of damage, but whoa, I just avoided some stuff. 
Hey, a bat. Nice. I think we should explore this. Come here, bat. There we go. Got him. Collect that darkness, and we got dark magic. Cool. I don't think we've hit any of the collectibles here so far before this, so... <laughs> Probably a good thing we're coming... Back. Oof. Thought I could get off my second one. Okay, so there's like a lower area that I can't seem to... Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna heal. <laughs> um, be enough. Don't bring me out of one-shot range for the wolves. Appears. Okay, this is kind of tricky. Might actually have to build up a dash. Which would be kind of inconvenient in my location. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Dang, that was so dumb. Alright. Okay, I think that's a good thing we saved. So now we're... Okay, so now if we just hold left, we can progress. Okay. That was dumb. That was impatience. Number one thing in platform and punch is before impatience. Alright. Let me... Kind of hard to build dash. It takes so long. I wish you could hold a button. That, that would be way more efficient. Okay, so if we're smart, we can cover our exploration of the area we couldn't reach before without having to um, build up a dash, because we kind of got stuck. Um, oh. Interesting. Okay. So, right over the... Okay, so yeah, I don't know what that last tile is then. Must be like a hidden area. Jesus, everything in here does so much damage. I'm not, I'm not exactly being careful, but same vein, man. Cool. Okay. So we had to be defeat him again because it doesn't save when we die, which is fair, I guess. It's just very old-fashioned. Man, I remember the days of um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, um, explores this guy specifically, where you would, you would like die in a dungeon or whatever, and you knew you couldn't like go back to your last save because um, you know you'd lose so much progress. And like, uh, hang on, let me heal. Um, and like, you just you lose so much progress that you forgot to save. That was the worst. That there was no auto save, and you just like lose progress for a whole dungeon. I mean, Mystery Dungeon, as great as it is, is, is super grindy. It is not fun to replay if you don't have to. Um, it's fun for the first time, for sure, but it's super grindy. Um, I mean, I played um, the remake of Red and Blue recently, um, and that was... It was fun. The story was fun. The dungeon grinding was not. <laughs> Because um, you just kept seeing the same enemies over and over and over again, and there really wasn't much of a challenge with managing like your health or whatever. You weren't usually in much danger, except for like your PP, which really isn't all that fun to manage. Just, I mean, you have to do combat. Uh... Jesus, man. Too much... Dang, dude. He used too much damage. I keep getting hit by him. That's just on me. But crap. Oh no! <laughs> crap. Yo. Golly. These slopes are killer. And it, like I'm kind of going in reverse, so it's like crap. They put you in so much stun, and that, like, if you touch even, like, the base of the slopes, they're much bigger than what they look. It's 
those wolves, man. I don't want you around. Only my uh, a hair whip did 10 damage, but we only it only does. Oh jeez. Okay, we're good. Stupid. <laughs> There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. There's filthy animals out of here. You filthy animal. You want to watch Home Alone? I liked it a lot growing up. It's a cute movie. That and, um, like, as far as, like, childhood movies or whatever that, like, you know, aren't as fun watching growing up or whatever, like, there's, um... I don't know, when I was growing up, there were... Okay, let me... Let me think about what I'm trying to say here for a second. <laughs> It's like, there's there's a certain genre of, like, um... Uh... Non-cartoon... Not sitcom, but just re real movies or whatever. Family movies that you really only watch growing up as a kid. And you, like, don't really go back and watch them as an adult, I guess. I don't know. Homeland's kind of one of those. It's cute, but, like... Watching it, like, now, when I don't have a family or whatever, um, of my own, is kind of not as enjoyable because the wonderment isn't there as much but like they were really cool growing up um home alone was really good um tooth fairy that was another one can we talk to him <laughs> rough enough if you have to we're not gonna beat up bolo home alone was a big one um tooth fairy game plan uh, all those um the rock movies <laughs> What well, you know, I think acting in those was a good choice for his career because, like, those are kind of timeless for families now. But, like, I wonder what m made him decide to take up acting and specifically in like family movies, you know? Seems like a weird choice for a guy like him, but he's made himself quite personable with those movies, so whatever works. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, wow, we did awful on collectibles. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright. Back to Scuttletown. Okay. Um, are we willingly going to give Ammo Baron this module? I'm just pointing out we should probably not give it to him, but... Probably can't make progress unless we do. Let's buy some, uh, shampoo first, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, what do we got? This bubble. Okay, so we got... Shampoo, or a pistol tune-up. Two shampoo. Okay, so max we can do is like 8 damage, probably. Probably. Um... We can buy three potions. Might as well. We don't know what the future holds. Alright. Let's... I guess we're gonna hand over this module. I'm gonna save the game first. I don't think this is smart, but you know. Hey, maybe you can use the module to like, shoot at the Pirate Master's Island, because there's one more island we haven't seen yet. Maybe we can uh, get him to shoot at it for us. That'd be nice. The targeting module. Can I have it? Sure. Yoink. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll deliver it. The target module has arrived. This is awesome. Pow. Good work, citizen. He gave the module. I don't know that that's smart, but... We'll need that good-for-nothing Barracuda Joe. Where is he? Oh, no! I heard there were zombies on Spiderweb Island. Maybe they ate him. I should sit someone over there. Okay, so Spiderweb is our next stop. Not bad. Uh, so let's backtrack our way to... Oh, wait, was he the, um, dude with the carriage, maybe? Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, uh, we still have the lost soul. We don't know what that means, but... I'm gonna try just going to that house and seeing if one of them... ...is Barracuda Joe, because I don't, honestly don't remember who that is. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're gonna try all of the characters and the ones that know where they are before I try exploring other parts of the map. Okay, so it's not him, which is kind of who I thought because he like repaired the wagon. 
but guess not. Wait, maybe he's the brother of Karate Tops. That actually might be who it is. Look who's back. So what's this I hear about you and Risky Boots? Well, what? Uh-huh. You're all high and mighty when it comes to us. But I suppose you can team up with her, and it's all fine and dandy. You've got the wrong idea. I'm just trying to help everyone I care about. Fancy that. What brings you all the way out here anyway? Oh, um, I found a place. The village of Lost Souls. You don't need to say nothing. <laughs> you don't need to say nothing more. I know all about it. About what? My night job. Something I'm working on. No, of your biz, sis. Aww. Anyway, I found this there. Oh, he's gonna read the lost soul. How cute! It's a wandering soul. Must have been separated from his body and can't find his way home. Whose soul is it? Only one way to find out. You just need to trigger the right memories. Maybe this fellow committed some foul deed in life, something he'd never forget. For true love, someone he or she will remember for all time. Or something embarrassing. Maybe he did diaper commercials as a child? Oh no. Is that embarrassing? I don't know. And he still wears them because he misses being in the. Oh! Okay, that. <laughs> that's creative. You know, that's creative. Alright. That is embarrassing. That Creative writing. I like it. Voice. You're wrong! Who said that? Comfort and convenience ain't no cr. No cr no, that, they're actually going with that? No. Wow, it's Barracuda Joe. See, that wasn't so hard. Here, take this, take his spirit back to him. He'll be up and about in no time. Well, assuming you kept the body. If not, I've got a few spares laying around. You got the spirit of Joe. So, where is... Wow, I can't believe it. Not a big deal. Listen, Roddy, I met someone in the village of Lost Souls. He explained some things to me, and, well, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be your friend. Really? Through thick and thin, no matter what. Big brother? I think she means it, sis. Don't mess it up this time. Can we have her for dinner? That's the kind of garbage I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Alright, uh, so we need to figure out where Joe is. Who's Joe? Joe Mama. <laughs> okay, I have no idea where Joe is. Um, I honestly have no idea. Let's check the description in the menu and see if we can figure out where it is. Barracuda Joe in spirit form. He looks bored. Hmm. Okay, uh... Yeah, I really don't know where he is. We're gonna get back to Scuttletown, and between episodes, I will research where he might be, because I have no leads. Um, also, we might just run across him in Scuttletown, so that is a distinct possibility. Woo. Oh, I should have let that dash. Sue. back. Let's shut back off to Scuttletown. Uh, yeah, I have no idea where he is. He might be on Spiderweb? Question mark? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go make a save and we will wrap up this video. No idea where Joe is. We figured out Bolo. We figured out the, the Wandering Soul. We delivered the modules, so we covered a lot of mysteries today. But we didn't figure out where Joe is. That's the next one on our list. And there were some areas of uh, Propeller Town that we were not able to access with our current uh, skill set. So we will probably have to go back there in the future um, and do some exploring around. But anyway, this has been fun. Uh, I really like the Propeller Town. I like the high, the high uh, altitude platforming. That's always fun. That and like, um, thinking of like other sections like Propeller Knights. Um, stage was really good from Shovel Knight and um, like Gyroman, Airman stage were both fun from Airman. Like a high altitude platform is always fun. It's a, it's a good, um, it's a good story type. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for watching this part of Shante. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the YouTube channel for content on other games um, that I've played. Lots of Mega Man runs, Shovel Knight runs, etc. 
Um, check me out live on Twitch for Smash Platoon and Mario Maker content and uh, Fire Emblem content as well. Uh, live, and also be sure to join the Discord where you can share memes, art, uh, questions of the day, and also suggest ideas for the stream. Level codes, arena battles, league, Splatoon, whatever. I'm open to anything. Anyway, I'll see you in a future video. Rock 2000. Signing off.